Alright, so back again, welcome to number 11 of the JRLA tournament series. And uh, this is a, a very strange concept, a 2v1 tournament, which I'll explain briefly now. Um, as you can see on the screen, these are the nine brackets we have, uh, all kind of next to each other. That means there's 27 people in this tournament, so unlike the usual 32, we have 27 in a three, a nine group of three uh, layout here. So, the way the game works is, it's a 2v1, so two people will load in, for example, let's get my bracket up, and here you have three players so for example i go into one against the other two say for example nas scores against me he will then swap and go into the 2v1 uh, the 1v2 even and obviously i'll end up in the uh up in the 2v1 and uh, the aim of the game to go through is just to come um to finish the game as the one finish the game as the one you'll go through which cuts the numbers from 27 to 9 to have a final three at the end so only really three rounds of this is only going to play maximum of three games and minimum of one game so you're not really getting hit too many games in this one should be a lot quicker to do just an extra additional thing if you score well it's the 1v2 you get an extra life so that if you do concede um, you know you get an extra life in that sense you don't have to swap if you do score as the 1v2 that is you get an extra benefit um, very complicated well it's not very complicated there's a lot of the kind of different um, ways of playing a lot of tactics involved is a lot you know I'm sure you can think of some yourself for example I think we should go for demos but if you go for demos you're not going to score you're not going to win the game because you're not going to you know get on the one um, that's kind of one potential tactic debunk there's a lot of tactics people have thought of in the build up to this that won't work and you think of them in a little bit more detail about how they might be uh, counteracted so we'll see how we get on it will be quite a short video we'll run through it quite quickly the games and um, the, the power ranking of people will be next to their name as you saw i'm number two now dropped finally from my number one spot and uh, now divok has uh, entered the, the second spot after you know lost in the quarter final last time he's do better than that this time obviously gonna be interesting to see how we get on this one because it, it's not really about a skill as much as luck this one because it's 2v1 you never know what can happen you could get a tap in you steal someone's goal so We'll stop waffling, we'll get into it now. It's been a long intro trying to explain what's happened. I mean, you get the hang of it very quickly, I'm sure. Um, let's see who can win the 11th version of the tournament. So I thought I'd start off showing you my game. Um, it's going to be very hard for Kasim, bless him, he's starting. We've done a random will to generate who starts. It's going to be me, um, or him even. He's a plat three against two grand chance, bless him. If he somehow scores, fair play. I'm just going to show the majority of my game and just watch me be that become a competition. And see how we get on. Hey, it's me. I've scored the first goal. I start in the, I go back into the 1v2 now. Uh, Kasim. Kasim. Brother. Change fucking team. Thank you. Right, if I can somehow score here and get an extra life, that'd be fantastic. What I don't want to do is give Nas open goals like this because he's going to score them because he's a very good player. Oh, my God, he's missed. Jesus Christ, he's missed. This is going to become probably a 1v1 between me and Nas here, so I need to just stay focused and maybe nick a goal will be fantastic. Oh, no. What I don't mean is that... He's missed again, Nas. He's having a mare. He's having a mare. Goal. No, he saved it. The Platt's fucking cut. Oh, he's fucking done me there, to be fair to him. Oh my god, the Platt's got. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can you imagine he knocks us out? <laughs> oh yeah, bump Nas. That's a tactic. Bump your teammate. Steal the goal. Can we score? This could be the opportunity. Oh, fuck, mate. I've had two chances to get an extra life. And he's saved me both times. He's quite good, to be fair, for Platt 3. I don't want to let Nas score, it's going to be hard to get out. Oh dear, he's trying to fake me. He keeps cocking off easy chances. Yes, give me that life. I've got a spare life, get in. Right, can I hold on? Conceding only one goal for 2 minutes and 41. Can I do it? Oh, I need got another. Oh, okay, this could, could, could be conceded there. We're going to concede it. Nas is honestly, I don't know what he's doing. He's not really playing very well. Okay, never mind. So, I've lost my extra life. You can see how tense this becomes because even though I've been here for the majority of the time, if I've not finished the game in that fight, in that one, I, I've not won the game. So, I need to just stay focused. And even if I do concede, it's not game over. Hello, Mayor. Give me that extra life. Get in. Them two have cocked it up for each other. Sometimes being the two can kill you because they just got each other's way and now got another extra life. I'm not built for this yet. Well, he, to be fair, he's been Nas. I don't think Nas has been it yet. The other grand champ in this lobby, he's not even been the one. Oh, fucking hell. That's so bad. 
I've given away my extra life that easy. Come on. Oh, imagine. Oh, and then he caught him out from the cut. He thought I was going to jet kick off it. Oh, no. I'm going to look. I've conceded. I've conceded. I've finally lost it. NASA's finally become it. Right. Set me up or something. Chance. No. Fuck. Get down. Fuck him. Kasim, help me. No, he scored. I think that's game over. We've got to get him twice. We've got to score against Nash twice in 30 seconds. I think he's fucked it. This is my point. I was there the whole time. Got one back. Yes, we've got one life gone. 18. This is going to be so tense. These last 18 seconds are going to be tense as fuck. Can you imagine Kasim gets the winner and he goes through? This is fuck, mate. My hands are sweating like mad. That's it. Yeah. He, I tried to do him. I tried to do him. No. Fucking no. I thought I'd block the shot because it would have been a fucking goal if I had done. Oh, mate, that's it. That's it. Unbelievable, this is. This is fucking ridiculous. Right, maybe it's not over. Maybe it's not over yet. Eight seconds. We can score from kickoff. Do I do it again? Do I do it again? Or do I catch him out? Go. Fucking go. Fucking go. Oh, that's, I'm not going to score like that, am I? No. No, he's won. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. What was it doing? Try to do something I know I can't do. Set it up on the wall. What What am I doing? Playing? <laughs> what am I playing at? And I was there the entire game and I fucking bottled it. That is unbelievable. That, that just shows you how this tournament can go. For fuck's sake. I'm out in the first round. I should have won that. I should have been way more sensible. But for far. Oh. Right, so I'll quickly run through the other results. In uh, obviously the other brackets. You see that's one, that one. Uh, we'll come back into the other nine brackets. Quickly run through the last few seconds of each. And show you who won. So coming to this first bracket. You can see some good players in this. Somehow... The plat three of boy three 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 three. It's got this goal towards the end of the game and uh, set Houdini on a rage streak. But did actually somehow manage to hold on and win the game. Bless him with that. Oh, there's the, there's the goal again. They they missed a the chance here. Twinkie missed a goal opportunity to steal it, but boy somehow won it. So he goes through to the next round. As you can see, that's how we'll do this. We'll just quickly run through the rest of them one by one. So the second bracket again. Some very good players in here. MC2, our highest ranked player. Um, against some high tram players as well did really control the game and to be fair deserved to win didn't have any extra lives left but he did win the game um, and all fairness probably deserved it here the last few seconds and you can see saw out the game as well so deserved win for him he'll go through be hard for someone to stop him in this tournament going so far and uh, this next one was also a very kind of odd bracket because you, you can see the plat freeze for some reason something about plat freeze in this tournament arch also did win this bracket he stole a goal towards the end of the game, didn't do anything until the end and somehow managed to steal the win. That's what can happen, this tournament is what I said can happen in this tournament. The next one involves me, um, this is me with zero boost trying to get myself into the next round on some account. Uh, unfortunately as you can see I didn't manage to make it, I was in the lead until this last bit here where but again, plat player play Diego manages to steal a win and get through. It's incredible the amount of plats that are going through here. It just shows it's not really rank based. It's also kind of luck based as well. Um, so yeah, that's what happened in that one. I'm out now. Both accounts. Shit performance from me. And this one was also a very high ranked display. Kicking Pro did win this one. As you can see, this last few 10 second goal did give him the win. Uh, not a sweat. He was in control for long periods, but did just throw it away at the end and went for someone and missed. So Kicking Pro looking to get a tournament win finally after struggling the previous few. Um, this game again was a very high ranked competition between some you know, very respectable players. Those that have watched these before will know all about Super Red. He's a very good player. He's won a tournament before. So he's in the category of those chasing times too. But he did lose this one as you can see. Um, actually Idek Lol Kehar, I don't know how to say that name, did go through another almost shock exit for some of the higher ranked players in this tournament. And what a competition this next one was. Leon Kifanori and King Divok, our number one seed, competing to go against each other here. And uh, King Divock is out. Another, again, kind of shock. I would say shock because Leon's a very good player, but Leon did win that game. And that was definitely the most high scoring one. There's 17 goals in that game, and Leon nicked it towards the end as well. That means you've only got one left, and it is the 1.8. And it is the highest ranked one by the highest power rank he won by a long way. Arch was an 
absolute sitter here to steal it at the end from Harari, but Harari did go through. Cake also had a chance to score at the end there, but both of them missed. So Harari just go through then. There's some very, very shot, big shocks, some very good players left in this tournament. I'd like to see he's going to beat MC62, but the way it stands, this is now we go into the second round, and uh, these are the layouts we've got here so the first game we've got MC2 Nast and Art Switch very competitive game but slightly lower ranked one of Leon Boy and Idek Lol K how you fancy Leon but you never know and can Plat Freeze follow on there it's fucking incredible journey and play Diego against two grand champs can he do it again who the fuck knows so you'd fancy some of the grand champs to make it but as you see there can be some shocks in this tournament I wouldn't be surprised if you have a chat a Plat player in the final um, let's get into the second round I'll go into these a little bit more this time and let's see who can get through to the final So this would have been my game so before we start here. Um, Nas is actually the person who's starting um, in the 1v2. This is going to be interesting because MC62 is obviously our highest ranked player. And you've got Arch and Switch who's by far probably the worst player in this tournament. Um, he's very incapable of doing anything. He's got really bad connection issues on the Switch for some reason. So it doesn't really bode well for him. It, it's going to become very much like a 1v1. Uh, very much like his last game was Arch. But he somehow managed to win it. And uh, MC's going to take the lead here. There we go. So this other bracket of course. We've shown what's going to happen in this one. Kicking Pro is starting. So play Diego and Harani are against him at the start of this game. And we've also got, of course, this one, um, Leon, Idek, Loha and Boy. I'd love to see Boy in the final. I don't think it will happen, but I'd love to see a plat in the final. Obviously, him and Diego are both competing for that. And Arch, of course. Arch! No, he's missed! I really want him to what? score! <laughs> Could be an early extra life for kicking pro here, maybe. Is it? No, well saved. It could be a swap. Here's Harani swapping with kicking pro at early doors. Goal for Leon, he gets the first goal here. Oh, he's got an extra life already. He's looking very good. Chance, can Kipro get back on the team? He can, back on the 1v2. It's going to be a very close game. It's going to be very similar to one we've seen with the Platt players, where the Platt's kind of just hold on to the end and try and nick a goal. Um, it's going to be a lot of interchange between kicking and Ryan here, I can tell you that for sure. It's a good strike. It's very unlucky. I thought it was going to go in. Can Boy get a shot on target? No, he can't. Nass ain't too happy about it for some reason. I don't know why he's apologising, but Nass is a bit fuming. Uh, will they be able to get two goals against him would be the question, because it really is a 1v1. Not Arch can't really do anything. Look at him. He's struggling. Oh, what a save. Oh, it's unlucky. Boy's just chasing Leon around the pitch, to be fair. I think Boy's trying to do what he did last time. Just chase everyone, demo everyone, get him to position where you can just tap in at the end of the game and win. I'd love to see it. And straight away, he's back. So you see what I mean? That them two are going to change so much. This could be a goal. Oh my God, he's got two extra lives here. He, he's just a cut above everyone else and he's, he, he really should win. But in these tournaments, this is kind of how people like this can lose. He's fuming at Arch, but leave Arch alone, man. He can't do anything. The bloke's play on Switch with a shit internet, right? He can't do fuck all. Leave him alone. Oh, first extra life for Edek Loha. That's his old oh, count, by the way. He's not someone else. Slightly quieter period of this game. Harari's holding on a little bit. He's doing quite well. Diego's not had a shot yet. That was probably his best opportunity he's had. Oh, chance. Someone's got a score here, surely. Diego. Go on, Diego. Stop spinning about. Get a goal. Go on. I want to see him score. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> that really isn't happy. He's not happy with what he's seeing here, but to be fair, he is absolutely quality. He's got three extra lives. He's absolutely running away with it. Oh, it's an extra life for Ryan. He's, he's 50 that quite well, to be fair. Diego fell for it, and uh, he's got an extra life now. Well, he lost his extra life pretty much straight away, so <laughs> he's lost it from kickoff. Um, he's going to have to fight to stay in now. Here's a chance. Get one of the goals back, surely. Oh, Nass has missed. He's missed. I don't know what's happened to him, but he fucking missed. I, I don't know what to say. He left the game. He changed teams so quickly. It was unbelievable. Can he score this? He probably shouldn't allow it because he. Oh, he's missed again. He's missed again. What is going on? What is going on with Nas? I don't know what's happened. How is this guy beating me to this game? For fuck's sake! Can they get that extra life gone now? I think they have. Yet yeah. he's still got one more to go. Good boy, being an absolute nuisance. 
I, I would love to see him in the finals to piss people off. I, I can't think of anything more that I want than one of the plats to be in the final. Surely one of them will get it. He's got four now. This is pretty much game over. They've got to score five goals against him. He's just got one back though. Very good goal that as well. So he, he's in the driving seat now. Boy. No, boy. Make contact with the ball when you scored. Come on. Right, they have got one goal back. There's still a long way to go. They need to get four more. He's given him what a save. He's really not happy. That's the way his game's gone. Chance. And Leon takes the lead or takes, scores the goal. Uh, boy still can't get himself in, in, you know, in the other team. I think, as I said, he's trying to save it to the end. There's wiped out pretty much straight away. Honestly, this is pretty much a 1v1. Kicking bro against Harani, two grand champs. I'm hoping Diego can nick it at the end. That'd be so good, like he did it against me in the no boost game. Uh, I really hope he can do it here. I really want to see him in the final. Fuck you! Boy's a menace. He really is. He's going to cause problems. This is why I want him in the final. I want to see someone just fucking causing chaos. That's what this tournament's about. That's really just gives him shit every time he doesn't do anything perfectly. He makes one mistake, he gets spammed three times by Nas. He's not <laughs> he's going again. Oh, his chance for another life though. He keeps getting lives back and he keeps losing them pretty quickly. If he can just hold on now, a minute and 28 with two lives to go, surely he can win this. Chance, and Leon just about clips the post, he can't get the save, so a minute and a half to go, he's literally just been Leon and Idek swapping every single time. I've really, as I said, multiple times now, I really want Boy just to steal it. I can't feel anything better. Goal. Right, three more goals in 44 seconds is what Nas needs here. Oh no, oh no. Another extra life for Idek, he's got to score two in one minute 25 to get him off it. Right, he's still got his life here, not long to go now. This is a chance. Diego. No, Diego. He's, he's got in the way there. They, they almost need to work together to get this life gone. He's now got two. It, surely this is him through. That's one life gone. Don't want to fuck about the camera here, but it's back to his standard life now. And that's game over. Yeah. <laughs> Nas is raging again. Archer's just been absolutely non-existent. Bless him. I've opened things open for a tap-in like he did last time. Uh, this is definitely game over now. And they're both gone. Just like that, both from kickoff, they're already gone. This he's not done well there. Six seconds passed in the time he had two lives. Yeah, kicking pro saying that to him. He, he's got the he's got the brain for it. When the two v one, he's got an extra life. You just need to work together and get that extra life gone. Then you can fight for the goals. But they need to get three goals. There's one, two more to go, and the obviously the score of the final one will go through. Good boy. Good boy. Look at him. Bless him, I feel bad for him, but also I'm so desperate for him to win. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> Nas is absolutely fuming. I don't think I've seen rage like this before towards someone. This is going to be another goal. Maybe not. He <laughs> gets a nice shot again. Good finish. Oh, it's unlucky. Oh, has it not gone in? That was a great opportunity. Will they get another one? Diego, score! No, Diego, kicking pro. Can he get the goal? Right. Now we're down to no extra lives. I feel like the next goal is going to win this. Go on, boy. Yes, boy. Yes. Yes, boy. Keep the lead, please. Please, boy, hold on. Another one back for Nas. It doesn't matter because it's still... Need to score three more times. Need to get rid of two more extra lives and then score again to uh, knock him off. It's not going to happen. No. Boy's going to miss it. He's going to lose it, is he? No, it stayed out. Go on, go on. No. Oh, get the extra life, boy. Please keep yourself in it, I beg. Come on. Top it off another goal, no doubt. Yep, he deserved to win that, to be fair. He's very, very good. I can't, I can't hate on it at all. Last few seconds. Is boy going to stay in? I think he is. Unless they score here. Boy is through to the final. This guy is not showing any signs of losing. This is unbelievable what I'm seeing here. Come on, boy. This is tense. Last few moments, we'll stay here till the end. Who's going to get a goal, if at all? They need to get one very quickly, or Harani will be going through to the final. Can Diego keep it up? He has. He's still in the air. Can they keep it up? No. Harani goes through, kicking pro, and Diego go out. What a win that is for Harani. He's done well there. So what a final we have set up here. Let's just run through a quick recap of who he is through into the next round as you see them gradually coming on the screen here i won't have to explain them again you've just seen them so incredible yes yeah, so we do have mc62 our highest ranked player ever 
in these tournaments. Obviously, make the final. You'd fancy him to win. He's obviously the favourite. Might play into his hands playing against, like, you know, more of a 1v1 scenario like he did in the previous round. We did just have Boy. He's going to have just Boy as almost like a, a decoy in the way between him and Harani, who. Harari deserved it to be in the finals where well. he, he pretty much controlled both games he was in. Uh, he, he got away with one in the first round with Archmiss and that's it, but he very much did control the game with Kicking Pro in. Um, so he deserves to be here as well. And boy, I mean, what a story this is with him in the final, a plat three player making the final of the tournament. I don't think plat three, no tournament's different, but I don't think the plat three has got anywhere near the first round before of one of these tournaments. So fair play to him, he's done well. He's picked his tactic, he's demoed people, he's chased people. And now he finds himself in the final. I've done the same thing twice, and I have all nothing but respect for him. And I'm sure everyone neutral will want him to win this. You don't want to see any grand champs or champs win this tournament. You want to see a plat win it. It'd be fucking incredible. Um, I really want to see him win it for one. Um, you know, he's been around for a long time. I think he's been around since the first ever tournament. I want to see him win one. He's always committed to it. So bless him. He's done well. Only one thing left to do now, and is see who will win this. Who do you think it's going to be? Personally, I think MG62 will be too strong. I'd love to see Boy, but I, honestly, I wouldn't rule out Harani. He's been very good this tournament, and he really can pull off a shock. So let's see who wins this final and gets the 11th win of the series. Time. It's the final and Harani starting against, of course, the best player we have, MC62. He's probably about to score already and has done very, very quickly, proving why he's done so well in this tournament and looked very much unstoppable um, so far. We do have Boy in his lobby, of course. Thankfully, he's going to try and do the same thing, but he might have to contribute a bit more because it's going to be a much of a case of MC pretty much running away with this against Harani if he doesn't contribute because a grand champ three against a champ three. Um, is a bit of a gap, so you don't want to see MC2 rack up a load of extra lives and just breeze it. Oh my god, what a goal! Boy, where's he brought that out from? Fuck me, what a finish, son, and he's already in the <laughs> in the 1v2. I did not expect that. What a goal that was by him. And uh, I'll stay in commentator most of the game here. I want it to be more of a live run. Horizon going to score here. We've started off absolutely incredibly. Everyone's rotating. On, this is how I want it to be. I want it to be chaos. I want Boy to be the underdog. I want Boy to really just cause chaos in this final and then have Harani and MC batting it out. It's going to be all sorts going on here. So, yeah, obviously they, they all deserve to be here, of course. We've seen that throughout the tournament. And uh, you'd expect MC62 to win. Of course you would. He's going to score again here. He goes back in the moment. Everyone's rotating very quickly. I, don't, I hope this is going to be how this game is. Flick, but it's saved by MC. He's not gonna concede that easily. Boy, he just needs to put himself about. He needs to get some demos on the board and just piss people off. That's probably his best bet here. That was unlucky from from Harani. I thought you had him there. We can't let uh, MC62 get some extra lives like he has done because now you're going to score two goals against him and it's going to be difficult. And those are the situations I was talking about when I do mean Boy left on his own, you know, against the GC3. He's, he's just you know, a one-way ticket for a goal. They need to work together now, though. We said this in the previous rounds. I think the kicking pro, uh, he made this point to, uh, I can't who he's playing with, uh, but he made this point. They just need to work together. They need to stop going against each other just for a second until they can get one of these lives gone because he's just going to keep running away with it. What to say that is chancing to get a life. Harani's playing well. Is that going to go in, though? No, it's not. They need to be quick with this because he, he could just rack up some more. One way to do it would be just take his boost. Don't let him get the boost that he's now got to set up stuff like this because Boy won't be able to deal with it, in all fairness to him. Harani will, but if he beats Harani in the air, then it's pretty much a goal for him. Here's a chance to get rid of his boost. This is a goal, surely. That's one life gone then. He's got one extra one, and now they can start competing to get a peak, competing against each other. I forgot to mention this is on US East because obviously you want to play to the lowest ranked person server just to make it a bit more fair. So these two are a slight hindrance of the lag, which is probably how that's gone in. And Harani now is back, and you, you think MC's the favourite. Honestly, in this tournament, the favourite doesn't always win. You've seen that multiple times now. So... Don't write anything off here. I wouldn't be even put past boy free, 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 free. Getting a last second win like he has done twice. See, I really am interested how he's going to go. 
and MC's back in the in control. That's what you're saying, look, how is he meant to win a 1v1 on 150 ping? Very good question, what's going on? Took him a while to swap there, but yeah. It, he's not wrong to be fair, but that is just the tournament. It, it's just the way it works, I can't put it as EU, because then Boyd is fucking hopeless. It's a bit unfair for him to try and play in a Grand Champ lobby with, with higher ping. So, if I had to make it fair, because that means they're both suffering, and it, that's how, you can score. You really can score, Hawaii, and just keep at it. Boy will get in the way, inevitably, naturally. Boy will get in the way of the game. So keep going, we're halfway through here, and no one's really had control. MC did for a bit, but he's not had a sustained period of staying in. And obviously, Boy's already got there once, which he's not managed to do before, until the last second. So hopefully he'll come up with his last second goal like he has done before. I'd love to see it. Here's a chance for him. Go on, boy. No, boy. Fuck's sake. I do think I speak for probably most people other than obviously these two, Hirani. Oh, he's got an extra life. He's got an extra life. This lag is really probably playing against these two. And it's, it's just part of the tournament. It's part of the conditions you're playing in. So you've got to deal with it. And it's not great for both of them. It's going to make it more of an even game, which is what I wanted. As I was trying to say, I think I speak for most people, obviously, other than... MC and Hirani and maybe the four people that boys beat that we all probably want to see boy win this who wouldn't want to see a plat win a tournament for the fucking grand champs in it's just what you want to see in fact Hirani has got two extra lives now so they need to score three goals against him this is the guy who is complaining about playing on, on higher ping he's now winning by quite some way on higher ping it's a lot it's a long way to go of course and they can just zip down quickly your, your extra lives and kickoffs and stuff especially if you make mistakes like that you can't be doing that Hirani he's going to be kicking himself at that Gives another opportunity he's just lost another one he's making stupid errors he's in a very good spot there to probably try and hold on now I actually get tense again because he's lost both of extra lives and the next goal will swap him out very interesting. I honestly, I, I keep saying you expect MC to eventually pull through, but you don't know because what if that, what if this happens towards the end of the game? Is the goal? Oh, what a save, boy! Oh, I was hoping boy becomes steaming in and score. MC's back in control. So many goals. We had, I think, 17 in one of the, the first round games. I think when Leon Divock and Kifanori we had 17 goals. This is gonna smash this. Nearly a mistake there from Ryan. He don't want to let MC get another extra life. Go on, well done, boy. That's the one. Now he's a chance. Boy's trying to steal it, but I think Ryan might get the goal. No, good save by MC. I keep going, keep, keep going to call him fucking Steve because what his player tag name is. Boy with a bit of a cock up there. You don't expect too much from him, of course. Ryan just needs to be the one to stop him from scoring. Chance for boy. Go, boy. Fucking score, son. I dare you. Get in there. He's done this before. He's doing it again. Can he just hold on for 45 seconds? I very fucking much doubt it. No, he's lost it already. And Hirani's oh, stolen it. Sake. Wow, that's his reaction, MC. I'm not surprised. That is a tactic, to be fair. Let the opponent do the hard work and tap it in. But you've got to play for the game. In a ship's position now, though, Hirani, for this kickoff. Can MC get the goal? He's taking the boost. Oh, this is a chance for him. I wouldn't trust the life of Boy at the back, to be honest with you. He's nearly cocked it up. Right, we come into the last 25 seconds and I feel like the next goal might even win it. And there it is. They've got 19 seconds now to score and knock him off. Big question is will they do it? Because this is going to be very, very hard for them to do so, especially from kickoff with Boy. Oh my God. We'll stay here. We won't cut any more for the rest of this, this, this game. Come on. Who's going to win this game now? We're coming down to the last 10 seconds. Hirani's letting you bounce, I don't really know why he did that. He's trying to set it up so he doesn't have to change again, maybe. But will MC hold on here? It's the last few seconds. Can Hirani get the flick? No, he saved it. He saved it. Oh, he's kept it up. I don't know why. I think he's trying to score just to show off. I think he's going to. That is so annoying. I mean, it's good for MC62. He's done well and won. I mean, we've broken around for most goals in the game, of course. We were doing the final, but that was a chance. Right at the end there. Boy, you suck big. L leave him alone, mate. He's a fucking plat, right? He scored two. He's done well for himself. Unfortunately, just missed out. And the, the best player in the tournament did win, as expected. Um, but it, it nearly lost it in the last second. I really thought he was good here with that last chance. I thought Hirani did well letting it bounce, trying to flick it over in the last second. I wanted Boy to do something. But uh, he should never be. He, no, he's, he's done it on merit, in all fairness. It's part of the tournament. You can say he should never have been there, but, you know... He called him trash. I feel a bit of anger from Hirani here, but I respect Boy. He did well. Um, obviously, a plat being in there. Paul was in the air half the game. It just shows what his capabilities are. But yeah, that is that. MC62, the highest ranked player, almost as expected. 
um, was winning was going to win this tournament. Harani's still fuming at him. And to be fair, if Boy was better, then maybe he would have won it. So I wouldn't start going down that route. But yeah, that is that. That is 11th tournament. I might do some more in this format because people have enjoyed this. It's a lot easier to make as well. Um, if you do want to be part of it, join the Discord server. Uh, Boy's giving some lit back now. <laughs> I'd love to see it. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in number 12.